Hello, my friends, and welcome to my experiment. What we have are two contending solar panels. I believe in getting the best of the best, so I've been really researching things. And um, what the first panel is, is the PV200 Blue Eddy. The second panel is the Rich Solar 160 watt panel, which is with the SIX technology. <clears throat> so let me explain to you why I got both. The first one, the Blue Eddy, has uh, what's called partial shading technology. So the cells are actually wired in parallel. So when you throw, let's say, cover up a quarter of the panels, you still have 75% producing, you know, only a drop of 25%. As opposed to other panels where uh, a, part, a part of it gets shaded and the whole production turns off. And then you have SIGS technology, which promises to offer a similar thing, but at the same time to be able to capture a broader spectrum of light. So this is a, the Rich Solar 160 Watt 6. Mind you guys, maybe I got a worse unit, but I don't think um, you know, it would be working because it works. So I'm excited for you to check out the quick test clips, see it for yourself, and I'm gonna come right back for the conclusion. Shading performance test, take one. Zero. Wait, one. So we got a one so far. One, zero. Okay, very good. Now let's test the same pan, uh, the 200 watt. So this is the Blue Eddy panel, 200 watts. Testing low shade performance. Same thing. We're also getting one watt here. Almost. Almost one watt in the shade. Zero to one. Complete shade. Okay, so now let's test. Next test is partially shaded. We're getting zero to one watts. Okay. Now a panel going in the shade. We're getting zero watts. Zero to one. Right. Right. Testing six panel, connecting in that sun. Been fucking Look, bad. Just please connect it, damn it. Hey. Please connect it. Can say thank you? So now we're getting 70 watts lying flat. This is the six panel, 160 watt. Now, now get some shading on it. Now it's zero. What? Now we're getting zero. Zero to one, yeah. Okay. This performance, we're getting uh, 20, 21. All right, now can you plug it in? I'm trying to take a video. Lying flat, flat, these two against each other. We're getting 74. That's with direct sunlight. Now connecting the six panel. And we are getting 70 watts. That panel tilted to the sun. We're getting 122 watts. Okay. So, competitive. This amount of shade made the rich solar panel turn off. This amount of shade. With the Blue Eddy PV200, we're still getting with the one panel shaded, we're still getting 48 watts. So, one to one, comparing with the same station, the PV200 is better. We're getting 75 with that panel partially shaded. 77. No, this is this is the this is the PV. This is the PV2. Oh, this is the six. Oh, this is 79. Okay. Now let's try. 79. So now we're connecting the other one with the partially shaded 200 watt panel. We're getting 51. 
52. Partial shading on the PV200 solar panel with one of the things shaded. We're getting 66 watts with one of it shaded. This guy with that part shaded, we're going back to the six panel, 160 watt rich solar. Zero and one watt, wow. How much was the Blue Eddy was about 500 and this guy was about 500. Oh, but now that it has a little tiny shade, okay. 36. A little more shade, zero. So, does that mean this sh partial so shading? Weird that, that, that little bit of a difference makes 30 watts of difference. Yeah, so these uh, rich solar SIGs are not low shading, partial shading technology. Because this one, with more shaded, gets this guy with that partial shading gets 66 watts and then if we push it further <coughs> with even more shading like that we're getting actually 47 48 watts 48 watts and then let's try the six panel again The six panel, partially shaded, barely bottom cut off. We're getting two watts, zero watts, one watt. Yeah, so the PV200 is the superior panel, at least in this test where we had some partial shading going on and this drops down to zero. What's going on here? Are you actually surprised? Because for me, I was very surprised that the six panel with very little shading, much actually less almost, but for total area, as opposed to in the blue, as opposed to the Blue Eddy. But also the other benefit of the Blue Eddy, it has a kickstand, it's easy to carry. And the other one is like a big rolled up thing. So it's meant more for, I guess, a portable slash permanent setup. I could see it if you have like a south facing wall, like for example, this one over here this wall gets sun all day so the moral of the story is uh, shading is an enemy of solar panels and specifically this rich solar with the six technology did not actually deliver as good as the top of the line pv200 panel so that one i recommend i'm glad i have two. Oh, also the solar generator that, that i would use there was the aupes o-u-p-e-s that's on amazon the rich solar is richsolar.com and blue eddy is amazon and also on uh, blue eddy power.com um so check out the things make some comments what um have you been researching other technologies like the next one that i'm gonna test is i ordered the harbor freight solar panel unit that apparently has the thin film technology that's what got me interested because there was this one guy on youtube he was getting like you know a really high power output and apparently it works indoors but see the challenge with those videos that you watch is that they use very old uh, technology not like a solar generator with a solar generator the statistics the statistics are clear you connect one you connect the other it figures out the correct voltage what the charging capacity and all that good good stuff by itself but with the other ones it shows oh the battery icon is showing charging so don't let that fool you because i feel like the uh advertise the SIGs or perhaps the way that the rich solar SIGs is not the best. So I'm gonna continue my search. So the search is for an ideal solar panel that uh, performs in all lights and functions good for years and is also very durable. That's the beauty of SIGs is apparently other things like the top of the line contender uh, would be photo energy or fabric or anyways um there there's these things that a, a solar panel is literally uh sewn into a blanket and it works good but anyways 
Uh, leave your comments below and I shall continue testing. Maybe 6 technology is turned out to be the way it is supposed to be. But my understanding is they use it in space. Why are they using this one in space? Possibly because it's more durable than the crystal, uh, monocrystal and glass panels. All right, guys, that's the conclusions. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And give it a thumbs up, subscribe and all the good stuff. And hit your bell icon, whatever the heck makes you feel good today. All right, guys, bye.